What's up, YouTube? What it do, LHM? I'm Keish, and welcome back to the Mafia. Today, we are back with another reaction video. Now, we know the WNBA, the season is just not about to start, right? We've seen all the college girls get drafted to the WNBA that was going. We've seen where everybody went. Unfortunately, we seen Camila Cardoso get injured. She went to the Chicago Sky, her and Angel Reese. I think that is a nice look, right? The number one pick, well, not the number one pick, the number one pick from South Carolina, Gamecocks, was uh, Camila Cardoso. She ended up injuring her shoulder. And I'm really trying to figure out what the fuck happened, how it happened, and when she'll possibly be returning. I know they said a couple weeks. I think it was four to six or something like that. So I really want to see how she feels about it. I really want to know what everybody else got to say about it. So before we get into this video, because that's what's coming up next, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know every time that I'm posting. Not one time, two times, but every time. Come on, spend the block. Make sure you sell up to the mafia. Like, like we're only good, getting stronger, getting better. Like, we're growing. Like, as we speak, we are growing. Now, let's go ahead and tap into this video, all right? In the WNBA, the Chicago Sky holding media day as the hype for their new season continues up north. South Carolina star Camila Cardoso was the team's highest pick in the WNBA draft, but she will miss the start of the season with a shoulder injury she suffered in their first preseason game. The Cardoso first game, expected to she miss got four to six weeks, but she did speak with the Chicago media That's today crazy. about her injury and how she's feeling with her rehab and Camila getting a bit emotional. Um, just being at practice, watching, keep learning, even though I'm not able to practice, just watching the plays, learning the plays, and just staying connected to my teammates. Um, they've been very supportive. They've been helping me a lot. And, yeah. I'll say it's frustrating. I never got hurt before. Um, I never had to sit out a game before in my life. So it's really frustrating, but I know yeah. I got some really good people here that got my back, and I just got to trust God. I believe that everything happened for a reason, even though I don't understand what is the reason maybe right now. Mm. But I just got to keep trusting God. In Indianapolis, Aaliyah Boston and Caitlin Clark are gearing up for their second preseason game with the Indiana Fever. They lost their first preseason game in the final seconds a few days ago, but I they're looking it. forward to being on their home floor tomorrow night against the Atlanta Dream. Today, Aaliyah Boston talking about the pace this team is playing with, while Clark says she's still trying to get her professional routine down. I mean, we want to play fast, and playing fast, I mean, sometimes there's things where you might miss that initially, but I think just being able to do that, continue to be in that routine of playing fast, you understand where each other's going, you understand the pace that we have to make, and so I mean, we're just Dang, girl, slow down. Yeah, I think it's hard to kind of find my routine, so I think, um, you got to get the floor of it. It makes sense when she's trying to, when trying to shoot the like final that, threes. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what my works. routine will be, obviously, because I haven't really played at home yet, so I can just, you know, continue to feel it out and see how things are going to go, but... That's the great thing about playing two pieces. You can know, you test it out, see what works for you, see what doesn't work, and you know, go from that. I think. Damn, Cordoso. But I think that give us a chance to see what Angel Reese was actually going to do before both of y'all get in here. Because once both of y'all get in here, it's a chance one of y'all won't get seen. I think that's. In a way, like, in a way, let Angel get her shine first. That way, the coach know what to do with each one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, God's time is, is only perfect. So if we're thinking about, damn, what's the timing on this motherfucker? Why, why, would, why would both of them get drafted to the same team, but one person get injured as soon as the season starts? Because the other person needs a chance to shine and show what she can do. And I give Angel Reese her props. And when she got her chance, she shined and showed what, she, what the fuck she can do. Now, when, Cam when Camilla come back, it's going to be her chance to shine and show what she can do. Now, that's not saying that Angel Reese going to be injured or anything like that. But that's just saying, hey, you're the bigger woman on the court. Everybody's going to see you. So more eyes will be on you type shit. More eyes will be looking towards you. So now it'll be more on what you're going to do and how you're going to help the team. Because Angel is only a forward. You know what I'm saying? So how would you play make with her type shit? But she also got to find her rhythm in this motherfucker. Because she's just about as big as Camilla type shit. Or just about as tall. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's just all about adapting to the WNBA. I, I think, I think <clears throat> if we're looking at this situation from a realistic point of view, 
these girls need time to develop separately and then come back and develop equally. Or maybe she just needs to develop a little more separately. And then Camilla already got her, she already understand. Or maybe her path is already understood. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you just never really know. But I'm anxious to see when the season finally come around. It, Cause you know, all right, in the NBA, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, he set out damn near half the season until the playoffs start. Now he in the playoffs and he all of a sudden back healthy type shit. So I wonder if she's going to sit out for the preseason and then when she come back in the season, she's going to be ready. I hope she has a speedy recovery, a well recovery. I hope everything goes well with it. Like I hope she learn and and pay attention and get to know her teammates as she said she was. Like, I think it's, I think each player has their own spotlight. And right now she's not, the spotlight isn't on her type shit. So y'all let me know what I think in this video down below. I'll see y'all in the next video. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below. And I'll holla, peace out.